Last Friday, the college football playoff announced it was expanding from 4 to 12 teams by 2026. At the latest, it will feature four first-round games at host sites, quarterfinals and semifinals played at the current New Year's Six Bowls and then a neutral site national championship game. And while an expanded playoff will likely be good for the long-term parity of the sport, what does it mean for long-running bowl games outside of the playoff party like the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl? Well, KTSM spoke with Sun Bowl officials and college football experts to find out. In the first eight years of the college football playoff, Cincinnati in 2021 was the only team outside of a Power 5 conference to qualify for the four-team playoff. The less access you have to a championship, the less interest you have from people outside of that bubble. Sam Kahn, college football expert for The Athletic, believes that the expanded 12-team playoff will eventually make the on-field product in college football better. But a bigger playoff also means questions for bowl games on the outside looking in, like the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. The bowls are important. I think they're very important for the, you know, for the student athlete. They're important for the schools. And obviously, they're important for the cities that, that host them. Now in its 89th year, the Sun Bowl is the second oldest bowl game in college football. It's connected not only to El Paso, but to the history of the sport. I think it's something that this community needs and really uh, has to have, has to keep, and will keep. There still is, I think, an attachment to them uh, from a national college football perspective, especially the ones that have been around a long time. Bowl games, even the ones featuring 500 teams from smaller conferences, continue to get strong ratings year after year. So even with an expanded playoff, expect bowl season to continue, even if it means potentially pulling up five and seven teams to play the games. I don't think that the bowls are in danger. Uh, they'll be continue to be played. I think schools will continue to want to go to the bowl games, and uh, cities will continue to want to host them. With with a total annual payout of around $4.9 million to the Pac-12 and the ACC, the Sun Bowl is in a good position to remain relevant. But with conference realignment constantly threatening to change the college football landscape, they're also not afraid to look elsewhere once their current bowl contract is up after 2025. If something would happen to the, to the, to the Pac-12, Obviously, we would have to be, you know, we'd have to be looking at, at some conferences. And, you know, the Big Ten has been really, you know, they had been with us before and they were great partners. The Big 12 has been with us before. They were great partners. Uh, obviously, we would be looking for the best possible matchup that we could get. College football has changed a lot since 1935. One thing that hasn't is the Sun Bulls' presence in the sport. Our relationships that Bernie and I have been able to develop over the last few years, plus others, has really helped us in, in a knowledge of you know, where we need to be and where we need to go. If you have a quality matchup with quality teams, that's going to feed into people's perception of what that bowl is and how much it means to the sport. For the 54th consecutive year, the game will air nationally on CBS. Don't forget the negotiation nugget if and when uh, time comes for the game to find new conference partners. The 2022 Sun Bowl featuring the Pac-12 and the ACC, we hope, will kick off at noon Mountain Time on December 30th. Live in the studio, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.